Hi guys, this is Sadek from Droidbin.com and in this video, we'll show you two methods through which you could downgrade your Android phone from Android 15 to Android 14. Do keep in mind that both this method will wipe off all the data from your phone and both these methods also require an unlock bootloader. You cannot do a downgrade using ADB sideload. You could only do a downgrade via the Android flash tool or the fastboot method. You, you cannot simply sideload the OTA update or the firmware using the ADB sideload method. You will have to use the factory image or the fastboot ROM to get this job done. So with that said, please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. As of now, as you could see, I'm on the latest Android 15 build. So as you could see from here as well, it's the vanilla ice cream. And on that note, let me first show you how to do a downgrade using the Android flash tool. And after that, I'll show you how to get the job done using the Fastboot script. First and foremost, there are three requirements that you have to check mark across both these methods. These three requirements are common across both of them. So first of all, you have to get hold of the Android SDK platform tools. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in C drive. And these are the files of platform tools. Once that is done, your next course of action is to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. USB debugging is required to execute ADB command, whereas OEM unlocking is required to unlock the bootloader on your phone. So let's now carry out both this task. For that, go to the settings menu on your phone. From settings menu, go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. So go back, then go to system and you should now see developer option. Go there and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone. Tap on OK. And with this, debugging is now enabled. So let's now verify the same. So go to platform folder address bar and type in CMD here and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Use the official cable that came with your phone. Tap on revoke USB debugging and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB tweaks and make sure that we're getting an ID. Once you're getting this ID, let's now move ahead with the next step. So now you will have to unlock the bootloader on your phone. Do note that doing so will wipe off all the data and it might make the warranty null and void as well. So if that's well and good, then you could refer to my guide or the video and get this job done. In short, you just have to boot your phone to fastboot mode and then use the fastboot flashing unlock command. After that, you will get a confirmation prompt on your phone. So use the volume key to highlight, unlock the bootloader and press the power key to confirm. With this, the bootloader will be unlocked and you will be taken to the OS. So once again, re-enable USB debugging and then let's now move ahead. So now you could carry out either the Android flash tool method or you could use the fastboot script method. In the fastboot script method, you don't have to be dependent on any other third party app. Whereas in case of Android flash tool, we'll be using a web browser. Any browser will do as of now we'll using Google Chrome. Moreover, if you're using this Android flash tool, then make sure that you have a strong internet connection because if the network drops midway during the process, then it might cause quite a few issues. So that is why if you are unsure about the network connection or if you don't want to take any risk, then you may opt for the step 4B and use the fastboot script method. As of now, I'll show you both these methods. First, let me show you the method using the Android flash tool. So go to this website from here and then you will get a pop-up on your PC. So first of all, click on allow ADB access and it will now load your phone from here. Click on it and you might get a warning of already in use. In that case, open the CMD window and type in adb kill dash server and hit enter. And with this, we have killed the server. Now, once again, click on force inspect and you will get authentication pending. So unlock your phone and tap on allow in the allow USB de debugging prompt that appears. And now your phone should be shown as connected. So choose it from here and you will now have to choose a branch ID. So as of now, so let's now select any one of the Android 14 build. So let me choose the Android 14 QPR3 preview release. So I have chosen this. Now furthermore, click on the pencil icon and wipe device and force flash off partition are, are compulsory. But I will recommend you to uncheck log bootloader because if something goes wrong during the process and the bootloader is logged, then it will be quite difficult to rectify the issue. On the other hand, if the bootloader is currently unlogged and if you face any issues, 
then you could easily fix and rectify it at one go. So as of now, please uncheck the log bootloader option, whereas keep the wipe device and forward flash or partition option check mark. Once that is done, we could now move ahead and flash the build. One more important thing to note is that please make sure that your phone is not rooted, nor should it have any binaries involved such as the Magisk app or any modules such as LS post or any custom kernel. If that is the case, then I will recommend you to remove root, uninstall Magisk and only then move ahead while the wipe device option will also get the job done. It will also remove the root. But to be on the safer side, I'll recommend you to manually remove the root as well as the module from your phone. I have made a video on the same on how you could unroot your Android phone. You could refer to my video and get that job done as well. Anyways, with that said, let's now proceed ahead and click on install build. Again, make sure that log bootloader is unchecked, whereas the first wipe device and the fourth flash are check marked. Now click on install build and it's showing us all the information. So we are flashing the Android 14 build and we are choosing the wipe and fourth flash. And this is the Android 14 build number. Click on confirm. Click on I accept and it's now started first and foremost, it will now download the firmware for your phone. Depending on the phone that you own as well as the firmware version, the downloading will vary and it will automatically boot your phone to the fast boot mode as well. So as of now, the firmware is being downloaded. So let's just wait for that to happen. So guys, the downloading of the firmware is now complete and the flashing has started. Do note that while the files are being flashed, the Android flash tool will automatically reboot your phone to the fast boot mode. This is completely normal and nothing to worry about. So as you could see, it's now flashing all the partition files and the super.img file or the super partition is the partition which is the maximum size and it will take quite a lot of time. As you could see, it's around 5 GB in size. So the flashing of the super partition will take quite a lot of time. So let's just wait for that to happen. So guys, the flashing is now complete. In the Android flash tool, you will get an install complete message. Likewise, your phone will now boot to the OS. Do keep in mind that the first booter will take up some additional time frame. This is completely normal. So it could take even up to around 30 to 35 seconds for it to boot up. So let's just wait for the phone to boot up. This is only for the first time delay. Likewise, your phone will now have to be set up from scratch because all the data have been wiped off from the device. So you will have to do it that as well. And as you could see, we are now inside the OS. So let me quickly start off with the setup process. I will skip the initial setup process and take you to the OS. So let me set up my phone offline and accept all the terms and condition and skip this as well. So we are just about to enter the OS and with this, we are into the Android 14 OS. Let me show you that as well. So let's go to the settings menu, then go to about phone. And uh, let me show you the, as you could see the Android version 14. And with this, we are inside the Android 14 build. As you could verify from here. And it's the latest Android security update as well. And this is the build number of Android 14. So, so guys, on that note, I round off the first half of this video on how you could do a downgrade using the Android flash tool. Let me now show you how that could be done using the fastboot script method. So first and foremost, as I've told you before, make sure that you have checkmarked the following three requirements. First of all, you have to get hold of Android SDK platform tools and extract them onto your PC. As you could see, these are the files. After that, you will have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking on your phone. So let's get that job done as well. For that, you have to go to settings menu, then go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. So go back, then go to system and you should now see developer option. Go there, enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone, tap on OK. You might get an RC key prompt as well. In that case, tap on allow. And with this debugging is now enabled. So let's verify the same. So type in CMD in the address bar of, of platform tools and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and hit enter. And, you're f and you should now get a serial ID. So let's verify the same. As you could see, this is the serial ID. If you are not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official cable that came with your phone. And use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB, USB tweaks and make sure that you are getting an ID. Once you are getting this ID, your next course of action is to unlock the bootloader on your phone. Do note that doing so will wipe off all the data. 
and it might make the boundary null and void as well. So if that's well and good, then you could refer to a guide or the video and get this job done. In short, you have to boot your phone to fast boot mode and then you have to use the fast boot flashing unlock command. You will then get a prompt on your phone. So use the volume key to highlight unlock the bootloader and press the power key to confirm. With this, the bootloader will be unlocked. You will then have to re-enable USB debugging and then let's move ahead. So now you will have to go to this section of fastboot script and first of all, you have to get hold of the Android 14 factory image. So go to this link. Again, I'm repeating, you should only use the factory image and not the OTA image. So scroll for here and select your phone. In my case, it's the Pixel 6a. And from here, let's download the latest build, Android 14 build. So make sure to click on the link button and not the flash button. So this is the latest build from a Pixel 6a. I already have this. Let me verify the same. So I have done the download. Once you've got the firmware, you will then have to extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. So let's extract it as well. The extraction will only take a few seconds. So while it's being extracted, let's now move ahead with the next step. So now you will have to boot your phone to fast boot mode. For that, type in ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. And this will boot your phone to fast boot mode. It will take only a few seconds. So let's just wait for that to happen and then we'll move ahead. So now you have to type in fast boot devices and hit enter. Make sure that you're getting a serial ID. If you're not getting any ID, then you will have to install fastboot drivers on your PC. I made a separate guide on the same. You could refer to my guide and install the drivers. Once you have installed the drivers and you're in the fastboot mode, let's now access the extracted fastboot or the factory image folder. This is the factory image. Go there and now you just have to use the flash all bat file. So before starting, please make sure that you've taken a backup beforehand. And I will also recommend you to remove root, root magic app and all such binary if it's there on your phone while flashing the Firmware will also remove the root, but just to be on a safer side, I always manually remove the root and install magic and remove all the modules. The choice is all yours, but still to be on a safer side, please remove the root from your phone beforehand and only then move ahead with the, this tab. Anyways, if your phone is not rooted or you have already removed root, then simply use the password flash all command or the flash all batch file. And it will now start flashing the files onto the respective partition. And while the phone and during the flashing process, your phone will automatically reboot to the fast boot mode as well as to the fast boot D mode as well. If required, this is completely normal and nothing to worry about. So as you could see, the flashing is going on and our phone is automatically rebooting to fast boot mode. So let me show you what exactly is happening in the backend. So if you launch the flash all dot batch file using an advanced text editor app such as Notepad++, so if you open this, you could see first off, it will flash the bootloader file, which is this one. Then it will reboot your phone to the fast boot mode once again. After that, it will flash the radio file, which is this one. And after that, it will again reboot your phone to fast boot mode. And then it will do a format data via the fast boot space dash w command. And once it has done a format data, it will then flash the rest of the file, which is inside the image.zip folder. So this is this folder. So all the partition files in case of pixel are compressed inside the image folder as you could see. So what it will do is it will flash the entire zip file at one go instead of flashing individual partition files. So after it has flashed the bootloader and the radio as well, then it will flash the image.zip file and all the insi files inside this folder will be flashed as well. And in the meantime, your phone might undergo a reboot to the fastboot mode as well, which is completely normal. So as of now, the update.zip file is being flashed and inside that the super partition is the one which takes the maximum amount of time because it has broken down the super partition into 20 sub smaller partition. So let's just wait for the flashing to complete. Once the super has been flashed, the rest of the file will only take a few more seconds to be flashed. So let's just wait for that to happen. And once the flashing is complete, your phone will automatically reboot to the OS as well. So guys, the flashing is now complete and you will get a press any key to exit message on your CMD window. So just hit the enter key to close the CMD window and on your phone, the first boot up will take up some additional time. This is completely normal because the OS has been set, set up from scratch. So let's just wait for a phone to boot up. Likewise, you will have to restore the data as well because the phone has undergone a format. And with this, we are now inside the OS 
let me show you that so let's tap on allow and with this so guys if you use the fastboot method then as you could see once the flashing is complete your phone will try to boot to the os and as soon as it boot to the os it will go into a boot loop a couple of times and you will then be taken to this stock recovery and from here you will have to do a factory data re reset once again this is compulsory although this was not required with the android flash tool but th this is required with the fastboot script method so use the volume key to highlight the factory data reset and press the power key to confirm once again select factory data reset and press the power key to confirm and with this your phone will undergo a reset and once that is done your phone will then boot to the os so let me show you that as well so although the script for flashing the batch file had the fastboot dash w command which does a format data but for some re reason we had to do a format data once again so as soon as the last file has been flashed and you close the cmd window your phone will boot to the os but within a second or two it will automatically undergo a restart and upon a couple of restart it will then the on the third restart you will be taken to the warning screen from where you will have to do a format data using the volume keys and the power key so do a format data and once that is done your phone will then boot to the os and this time around as you could see we should be able to boot to the os without any issues whatsoever so as you could see we are now inside the os and now we are not facing any issues as such so we could now start with the setup process and let me skip the initial setup process and take you to the os once again and show you the stuffs of the ui and ux so let me accept this and skip this as well so if for some reason you are not taken to the screen where you have to do a format data factory reset then you could simply force reboot your phone to the fastboot mode for that long press the power key for around 10 to 15 seconds to power it off once it has been turned off you could then use the power and volume key combination depending on the phone that you own to force boot your phone to fastboot mode once it's in the fastboot mode simply you will have to use the fastboot space dash w command and it will do a format data of your phone once that is done just type in then fastboot reboot and this time your phone will boot to the os so let me first show you we are inside the android 14 build and this is the about phone section and as you could see it's the android version 14 of the same latest security patch update so guys these were the two methods through which you could do a downgrade from android 15 to android 14 so in case of android using the android flash tool the process was quite straightforward and we just have to follow the on-screen instruction but in case of fastboot script as of now i was on the first developer preview build as you might have seen it's the first dp1 build so from doing a downgrade from that to the android 14 february build I had to do a format data manually as well. So if you are doing using the fastboot script, then after flashing all the firmware using the script, your phone will undergo a boot loop a couple of times. And the third time it will then take you to the format data screen from where you have to do a factory re reset. And after a factory re reset, you will then be able to access the OS in case you are not taken to the format data screen, even after a couple of boot loops. Then you will have to power off your phone by long pressing the power key and then use the power and volume keys to boot your phone to fastboot mode then use the fastboot space dash w command to do a format data and finally use the fastboot reboot command to boot your phone to android 14. so guys on that note i round up this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching